Hi, Dyslexic Genius here, Brett Hurt. My phone number is 864-236-1680, or you can email me at dyslexicgeniushurt at gmail.com. I'm back on the Victor 4. I've taken all the grease off, soaked it into simple green, cleaned everything, dried it out. And what I discovered was, if you can see here, you can see some pitting on this inside plate here. And on the other side, you can see some pitting. Well, there's rust. And how do I get rid of the rust? I use a circular sanding tool like this. This one's kind of worn out, but it still works. And this fits into your Dremel drill. You can get these at Lowe's. You can get them at Harbor Freight. And I go in and I cleaned all the rust out with this. And I sanded it smooth. I'm lucky enough to own a lathe, but you can do this at home. I took 320 sandpaper and I cleaned out the groove where the plate fits in here. You can see how I've cleaned this out. In the old days, yeah, I sat there for a couple hours sanding these out. I took the original one I had and it had rust on it. And you can see all the scratch marks. Somebody screwed this thing up. I re-blued it to shut down the rust. And I had a lot of punch marks where they were trying to fit the part. Well, this side fits well, but this side pops in, which means when I make a new plate, I'm going to have to measure this part, and I'll show you that in a video. But I'm just showing you, you need to use anti-rust silicone grease. These things are over 100 years old. You don't want to put the spring barrel back in there for wheel bearing grease. And 20 years down the road, you own a phonograph and something cuts loose because it rusted out again. You want to check for rust because of the age of the phonographs that people own. This is a lot of fun. This was my tip for the day.